Deadpool and Wolverine. The Deadpool and Wolverine trailer is here, and holy hell is it a fest of chaos. But within the fest of chaos is a wealth of Easter eggs, hidden references, and insane details. In this video, we go frame by frame to find the secrets you missed in the trailer. Minds ready, true believers? The clip begins with the type of desolation we'd expect from the aftermath of Thanos' snap. Deadpool and Wolverine are seen walking through a wasteland, filled with the debris of what look like Thanos' ships. This immediately prompts a few questions. Could this be direct evidence of the multiverse theory in the Deadpool universe? Have Deadpool and Wolverine been flung into an alternate reality as the result of some Thanos-related instability? It's definitely plausible, especially in light of the MCU's recent dabbling with multiversal possibilities. More plausibly, and certainly more interestingly, is the fact that this Deadpool, if the rumors are true, may know about the existence of the larger MCU. He's broken the fourth wall anyway, so why couldn't he be directly referring to the events of Avengers? Avengers, Infinity War, and Endgame. If he can, this opens up a realm of exciting meta opportunity for the Merc with a mouth. Think of the outrageous and absurd jokes he could make if he ran into the Avengers. He could mock their previous flaws, joke about their costumes, and even jab at the actors who portray them. The comedic possibilities are endless. This is probably the biggest wild card when it comes to this trailer. There's been speculation that we could get some meta commentary from Deadpool knowing the actors behind these characters. See, in the world of Deadpool, Josh Brolin always played Cable, the time-traveling mutant soldier. In the MCU, Brolin played Thanos. If Deadpool is aware of this, it could result in some pretty great, self-aware humor. He could make fun of Cable for his former career as a purple, genocidal warlord. Or maybe he'll just roast Josh Brolin and his limited acting capabilities. It could result in some great, Deadpoolized humor that breaks down the wall between reality and fiction in a way that only Deadpool can. Also, if he is aware, does that make the multiverse real and are all these characters connected in some way? Will Deadpool just say he knows because it's a joke? Or could this possibly be a gateway to open up new stories and crossovers in the future? We also get a quick glimpse of what looks to be Juggernaut, the mutant with the unstoppable force. His trademark helmet is unmistakable, as is his equally imposing physique. Could we be getting a sequel to the Wolverine Juggernaut brawl? Will Vinnie Jones be returning to voice Juggernaut as well? bringing back the brash humor of the character from X-Men The Last Stand? We get some pretty teasers of other characters in the trailer too, but they are far in the back, hooded and masked, so we don't know who they are yet. Some fans have pointed out that those characters appear to be members of the Marauders, a group of mutant assassins who kill for money and are extremely ruthless. That would definitely match the violent and chaotic feel of this trailer. Another theory is that those characters are multiversal versions of other known X-Men, or possibly even other Marvel characters from different universes. This is also very possible, as the multiverse is becoming a bigger factor in the MCU. Alternate universe versions of Sabretooth Omega Red, or maybe even the Fantastic Four could show up. We also get a pretty clear look at quite a variety of weapons and technology in this trailer, and some of these could easily be from different timelines or universes. Some of the weapons look very similar to those used by the Reavers, a team of cyborg mutants haters who kill for pleasure. This could possibly be mutants versus cyborgs in this movie. In the end, we just don't know yet who those characters are, but this trailer definitely did its job getting fans excited and theatrical theorizing. Based on the trailer, it also appears that there's some tension between Wolverine and Deadpool. Logan is serious and gritty, while Deadpool is hyper and likes to smash things. Our hero Wolverine definitely doesn't want the Merc with a mouth as his partner, and why should he? Deadpool is the type of person that can give a grown man a migraine, and Wolverine is as serious as they come. The last thing he needs is a clown like Deadpool. This partnership may be the best thing that's happened to Wolverine. Maybe only Deadpool's brand of crazy and immature wit can penetrate penetrate Logan's emotional shields. Over the course of the X-Men saga, Logan has dealt with grief, tragedy, and loneliness. Who knows? Maybe the foul-mouthed anti-hero can teach Wolverine how to laugh again. The dynamic between these two polar opposite characters is what to look forward to in this movie. Will Deadpool's hyperactive behavior push Wolverine to the edge? Or will the trials that they face create an unspoken camaraderie between them? There are so many Easter eggs in this trailer for Marvel fans to hunt for. It's practically a Marvel Easter egg hunt. There are some pretty obvious 
obvious Easter eggs we've already seen, like the Hydra tank from the first Captain America film driving across the battlefield. To further complicate matters, it looks like Lady Deadpool, the fan-favorite comic book character, might be making an appearance in the movie. While the trailer doesn't confirm it, there's some brief shots that could indicate she's behind one of the character masks. Adding extra egg to this rumor cake are internet rumors to the effect that Taylor Swift could be donning the suit. Swift has been linked to the Deadpool universe. Does anyone remember the cat t-shirt in Deadpool? There's a scene in the movie where Deadpool is healing at the X-Mansion, and he wears a sweatshirt, jeans, and a t-shirt with two cute cats on it. You would think it's just a random t-shirt, but in reality, it's a nod to Taylor Swift's two favorite furry friends, Olivia Benson and Meredith Grey. There's even a quote underneath the cats, Olivia and Meredith, best friends per ever. Plus, there's some pretty neat connections between Swift, Ryan Reynolds, and director Sean Levy. If Lady Deadpool does show up, it'll be pretty interesting to see how her inclusion affects the narrative and her interaction with the Merc with a mouth himself. Will the two clash? Or will their chaotic personalities complement each other? We certainly can't wait to find out. The final shot in the trailer poses more questions than it answers. Cassandra Nova, a psychic mutant monster with an agenda that has included messing with reality on a grand scale, seems to be the antagonist. But what is her endgame? Does she want to remake the world in her image? Or is there a greater, more devious plan in play? The Time Variance Authority, TVA, also seems to be in play, indicating that Deadpool and Wolverine's jaunts through time have caused a nexus event and created a disturbance in the sacred timeline. Is that why they're in a ruined wasteland? Will the TVA play a part in events to come? Those are just some of the questions we have on the table after the trailer drop. What are your theories and guesses? Drop them in the comments below. We'll enjoy reading and responding to them. All right, that's about everything for this breakdown of the Deadpool 3 trailer. What were you guys' thinks? Are you ready for this movie as much as I am? Make sure to leave your theories, thinks, and favorite Easter eggs in the comments below. And if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of our Marvel content in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.